what's up guys it's Sean and today we are going to check out Akasa at Chera South we have checked out before it was constructed today we're going to check out the completed one exciting let's go Coming in directly from the road, right? What you will see is a well done pavement, and you have this lobby. It's so grand. Coming in from the front, this will be the drop off area. And you have all the bamboo as a visual partition, and you have all this timber, all these tiles, and you have a check in counter, which is nice. So, you check out their detailings in materials. You have the timber furnitures, and you can see this. Spray painted, you have pebble stones, you have Shanghai plasters with some landscape accompanying your waiting lounge. That would be the leaf lobby, right? Every time you can see your visitors who is waiting for you conveniently. Check out the light panels. Now we are at the car park area at the ground floor. Even the columns, the chamfering is done very nicely. You can see it's very tidy. Then you check out the car park area. It's so pleasant along with the daylight from the openings. But just something to highlight, right? This will be behind the building. You have existing social housing, older communities around. Uh, because part of the identity of this site, it was a new village which is called Singchun that became the city that we have here right now where it consists a lot of factories, a lot of shop lots. So in this project, they divided into two drop-off areas. They have that similar water feature, that same flooring materials. Okay, you car park area. It's so artistic. Right, although it's a car park area, but it's so well done. Coming out to the facility deck, we are now in the gym room. Check out the cardio area overlooking to the pool. That's awesome. And you have the weight area. Not only that, you have this empty zone. You look at the ceiling treatments, the wall treatments. Everything is just you look at the joint between floorings, everything is just seamlessly done. Okay, right outside the gym, you have empty space like this. And you can see the break in between materials. You have the pebble lane. Then you have this zone, this sunken area next to the lap pool. This is just one big demonstration of materials. And you have this timber deck. But isn't this just awesome? This development is divided into three blocks. Block A, B, C. Block A has the higher density, but they all share the same facility deck. Right opposite the gym, next to the swimming pool, we will have the function room. This is where you can have gatherings. Hopefully we can do it soon. Again, you can see a very nice application of materials. The timber panels along with the spray paint on the walls. This also is maintenance. It's very nice. You have the groove lines again. It breaks down the entire scale of the wall. And it's also strategically placed next to the pool so you can somewhat enjoy that poolside view. Also strategically next to the barbecue area. Besides the lab pool, right, we have this children play area which is insanely exciting. We have the bucket, we have the mushroom with water features, and you can see the tiles. So fun, right? And that's not all. At the edge of the water, all these are actually sand. Check this out. So you have a private beach in your apartment. This is just so amazing. You can chill by the beach at your home at the same time supervising your kids right when they go insane in that play area it's just so nice unfortunately just that you have the neighboring lots that's overlooking so now we are chilling at the pavilion and what i can observe is just that heavy investment on common areas treatments like this is exactly like aria aria is one of the development in jalan tun razala but what i'm trying to say is their treatments on spaces are exactly the same. The only difference would be the location itself. And that creates that difference in pricing. And because of the scale of the facility deck, right, the entire boundary of that is made into a jogging track. They did not waste any space at all. You can see allocate certain 
workout equipments along with your boundary. That's also something to point out the density at this stretch, all of them together suddenly in one cluster, right? But when you look around, everything else is low dense. Moving on, we are at the library along with the multi-purpose hall. What I really like is the consistent treatments along the walls. And both spaces are connected by these pivot doors. Check out the view. So as mentioned just now, you can see industrial lots and landed properties. And I'm glad they use glass railing, so you have that unblocked view. Now we are at the AV room, also known as the cinema room. It's connected in the same floor. So this will be the screen and you get together around with your friends while chilling using all the very nice bean bags. We are now in block A rooftop facility and this will be the guy lounge. Generally this is where you get to hang out and you have a common kitchen here. Solid. We also have oven and microwaves to use, the hob as well by Didier Twitch. As a lot of people are also moving into that culture of working from home, a common area like this in a condo would be very very useful. You also somewhat have a private room like this, where you can have meetings if you want to. Now we are in Tower B, we have something different. It's an indoor badminton court. You check out the lights, right? It's very accurate, you don't want lights on the ceiling. Not only that, you have the ventilation system. You see? You have two badminton courts here. Very, very exciting, especially after the Olympic season. And I really, really enjoy that every rooftop is not wasted. All of them will have facilities. You have the sky gardens, your co-working space, you have the private lounge, you have the movie center. Oh my God, it's just so many things. Just by walking around the facility that I can only imagine the lifestyle that your children and your family will have. And I guess that's all. Let's head on to the show unit. Okay, coming out to the unit finally. It's rather bright in the lobby. You get to check out the pool. And once again, you can see the demonstration of application of materials. You have three leaves serving nine units per floor. Then for wall treatments, you have the spray paints. Here you have two wings. Let's check out the beans room first. So right in the center of the floor plate, you will have the beans room. Not bad, just that it's mechanical ventilated. Instead of drains, you use the floor gradient to direct water into the floor tracks, right? And you have a few of them. 1.8 for your width, 2.5 for your height, and this will be the peak of the airwell. Skirtings are available, very comfortable, very bright. And this will be the unit that we're gonna check out today. So this is a Type D unit, 1,500 square feet. It's a four bedroom unit with a balcony. And we are in Tower B here, so it's actually at the end. So it's rather private in that sense. When you're coming from the unit, the right side will be a three bedroom unit. You have a dining, living, kitchen tuck at the side. Then you have the three bedrooms at the end. Because this is the corner unit, you still have slits of opening on this side. That's very cool. On the other side, then you will have that studio unit attached to it. If you want to put a grill door here, you will need the approval of the management body. And let's go check it out. So coming in from the corridor, this will be the area of foyer where you can put in your shoe cabinet one side here this side for the studio you need a lot of space and once we go into the unit immediately on your right will be the kitchen area and bear in mind this is a show unit so none of this will be around it will be an empty unit that will be hand over to you unless you take the fully furnished package lah. so all these are just for reference as we mentioned in the channel we look at the dimension of things and how it flows in terms of spaces so we have a location for your fridge here Opening that up, this will be wow. I didn't expect such a big yard. And because this is the corner unit, you have the advantage of opening on this side as well. So, right behind here, you have the mid room. And check out the wet kitchen area. But what I really like is this you can have this opening at the side. 
difficulty is a wet area, you have your drain here, you have your water coil as well. And this will be the location for your aircon compressors as well. Moving on, this will be the dining, that will be the living, and that connects you to the balcony. And a freehold unit like this costs around 900,000. So the width from wall to wall would be 3.3 meters, and the height because there's a plaster ceiling, it's only 2.8. I think it's going to be around 3 meters after taking out the plaster ceiling. Lah. And moving out to the balcony, you have this 4 feet wide balcony, steel and glass handrail overlooking to the facility deck. You can have that full visual access of the entire deck. At the side as well, you have all the compressors. All air cons are provided for all the units. So you can see it's pretty tidy. And just for revision, this project is located right next to Silk Highway. It's one of those highways, somewhat like an afterthought. In this highway, you have a lot of branch. It's going to be quite a hassle if you travel. But I'm very glad that in this project, they use a commercial area in the front as the buffer for noise. They already have tenants, they have a medical center coming up soon. They have JNT and a few more. So within walking distance as well, you get a commercial area right in front of Manara Symphony. Moving on, there will be three bedrooms here and I like where you can actually put up your storage area. Going into the first bedroom, this can accommodate a queen size bed along with bedside tables and a wardrobe space. Aircon is provided, then you have that box up. Then you have timber flooring, timber skirting, enough circulation space to walk around and that is the window panel. Although it's not full height but I think it's sufficient. Moving on to the second room, again consistent treatments timber flooring and skirting so that the window here is a little bit smaller and they designed this to be a study room like the switches is at a height that is very friendly moving on before we go into the principal bedroom this will be the bathroom shared by the guests and these two bedrooms basin by johnson swiss wc by johnson swiss full height wall tiles with natural ventilation and i really like the tone of the tiles and you have a compartment for you to put your shampoos and stuff this will be the principal bedroom so this is very very spacious you get a width around 3.3 meters where you can accommodate your bed bedside table and still have a lot of circulation space moving into your walk-in wardrobe and that connects you into the principal bathroom Similar treatments, they use Johnson Swiss for basin and WC. I think let's head on to the studio. So something I like will be the width of the door. This is a one meter clearance door. You have timber floor immediately. And this feels like a hotel suite where you have the washroom on the side. It's so grand. And finally, that will be the bedroom area. So it's very wide. The window panels are wide enough, although it's not full height. And this space is very, very comfortable, I must say. In terms of width, in terms of size, everything is very practical. There's no weird corners or anything. And this also illustrates the difference between Type C and Type D. So Type D is a dual key where you attach an extra studio unit with it. Type C is just that three bedroom unit altogether. Okay, so I think that's about it. It's now time for Sean take three on three. So three things I really like. Number one, definitely the treatment of common areas and their build quality. So based on the experience that we had for Aria in Jalan Tun Razak, it's very similar. So you don't see a discount of treatment. So you have very rich textures from different materials just take the drop off for example they have the water features the pavements the reception counter right and when you get into the leaf lobby the walls are spray painted and it really just gives you that luxurious feel and very close to that point would be the facility deck not only one lap pool you have that sandy beach area which is going to be an absolute delight for all the children it's just so exciting then you have a very well designed gym and all the rooftop of different towers you have the AV room you have a lot of lounge you have the garden lounge you have the sky lounge you have that co-working with the common kitchen kind of thing and after olympics what would be cool would be the indoor badminton courts point number three this is a very mature location where you have residential components industrial components commercial components you have malls 
from the mines over to Aeon Mall and this Silk Highway somewhat is that connection between two major highways and within walking distance you have that commercial area in the front and business are starting to take place already however that is also part of the three things that I don't like yes being connected is nice to the Silk Highway right but it's very troublesome if you miss the turn in order for me to reach Akasa, right, I need to make a U-turn and immediately I need to make a left turn. And once I missed it, I will need to drive further and make a U-turn and a U-turn again back to this location. Besides that, located next to the highway, you will have that noise and sound pollution. But I guess by locating the commercial area in front before reaching the residential area, right, that somewhat filtered off certain level of noise. Following that, point number two would be the immediate density in this cluster. And when you look at these three projects together, that scale and density it's really something but if you just look further away the surroundings are all landed properties and industrial properties so it's very flat very low density in other words you get to kind of enjoy that unblocked view to a certain extent because point number three will be the immediate plot next to Agasa. we have all that heavy duty vehicles rumors has it that it has been cleared but we don't know what's going to come out next to it what if it's another residential block so we don't really get to control that unfortunately it's way beyond the power of this developer but i guess that's about it overall what do i think of the project i love it this budget of five hundred thousand up to a million i can have a small unit that has very nice build quality they emphasize a lot on design treatments and materials the facility that is awesome and there's just so many things to do for the kids just that we only live with the environment that is not as pleasant as their standard and shout out to the team for this very very private tour because they are now going through the VP processes for all the customers. So congratulations for those new owners. And if you really like this episode, like it, share it, and even subscribe for more information like this. Until next time, this is Sean Tan. Ciao.